Okay, this is gonna be a video. I thought about making this video because I have this clean, clean and clear plus Pentair filter with the cartridges. Now, what I chose to do is I have replacement cartridges. Now, my pool got green. I was away on vacation. I just got back. My pool was so green. So I vacuumed all the green. You can see where I vacuumed it up. Some I stirred up in the water because I did it too fast, but I vacuumed it all into the cartridges. Now, with my spare set, I'm gonna throw them in and then I'm gonna take them out, put it back in, get the filter up and running. Then I'll take my time and clean the new cartridges. I mean, the old ones out. So I unbolted this, it's a seven eighths, okay? You unbolt that thing, drop it down. And then I actually, to relieve the pressure on this, cause you can't pull it apart. I actually plugged it in. I let the filter pop itself and it popped the top off and the water came out. So this is, this is what's inside there. Okay, so you gotta kind of remember, this goes on the top, a little twist, it comes out. Okay, now there should be a screen on there. It's in here, okay? I gotta clean all this little gook out of there. And that top, actually at this point, I'm just gonna place the phone here so you can see it. So I can see what I'm doing and you can hopefully see me. Now, this should just lift right off. Okay, see this? I'm gonna hose this out quick. Okay, just lifts off. And then these lift out. Now, believe it or not, oh, these are heavy. Oh my God. There is quite a difference between the old and the new. Oh my God, these things gotta weigh 50 pounds a piece. All right, now the bottom of this actually looks pretty clean. I'd like to show you that. But I am gonna drain that anyway. And let me see why this is tilted. I guess that's the way it goes. Now let me show you the bottom, what it looks like. Okay. Hopefully I don't touch a button on my phone. Okay, so that's the bottom of this. There's actually a spider in there. That's the bottom. So I, I really do want to get it clean. So there is a little screw thing on the side. I started loosening it. I'm not strong enough to. So let me loosen that the rest of the way. And we're going to let that drain. Hopefully, you again, hopefully you'll be able to see this. I'm going to drain it. And, you know, I could actually just put this stuff right back in. It's that... I mean, it's not like this is the end of the world. You know, the pool is so green anyway. You know? I don't have to actually do this. I just figured I'll show you quick. Not as loose as I thought it was. Okay, here it comes. Ah, more. Well, a lot of sand and crap came out. All right, now that drained out the inside. I'm scared to touch the phone because every time I touch it, I have a, a risk of turning off the video. It's such a sensitive phone. I see how that cleaned out. Now look at that sand and crap in there. You know what? I'm going to give that a quick hose out. Okay. I'll give that a, just a quick hose out. I hate to bore you with all this little stuff. Let me get the hose. I could have made this a lot quicker of a video, but I figured, let me hose this out. Get all that sand out of here. As I'll tell you what, it's pretty easy to clean it. That cleaned really nice. Let's clean this one out. Actually, there's no there's no uh, water tubes inside this, like the bottom one. This is just caps. So there's nothing to that. Okay, nothing to it. Now, let me show you the bottom again. Real quick. See how clean that got? Okay. Now, on these filters, okay, the new ones... This says bottom, bottom, okay? So what do you think? That means bottom. Plug it in, just that, that, that simple. Bottom, you know, people make a big issue about these filters and being a problem. Well, this is the first time I'm actually cleaning it this year. And I probably would not have had to if, if I, um, 
I probably wouldn't have had to if I didn't go away and make the pool turn green. This year, 2022, has been a pretty rough year for pool people. Okay, now you plug the top on. See how simple this is? It's not like, it's not like a, a complicated thing. Now you want it to be somewhat straight and you try to make it so there's a little gap between all the filters. Line up the top and the bottom. Just square them up, all in place, simple. Now this is still clogged. Now remember I told you this thing got stuck in here. Let me see if I can clear this out. The crap that was in there. Okay, you can see the screen. For some reason it's really mashed in there. And it shouldn't be. I'm gonna take it out anyway because you really have to get it on top. Look how mushed. This thing got flattened and I don't know what caused that to happen. Clean it out nice. Let's reconfigure this thing. I do not know what caused that flattening. I maybe maybe the filter was rolled around, but it shouldn't be flattened like that. And uh that's a bit of a concern. It shouldn't be like that. Make sure this is clean. Plug in twist. Look how it goes. Put a twist, and that just screens right in. Now this gasket is, is already in place. Now, okay, it looks pretty good. Let's just give that the runs over. Make sure there's nothing on it. It would help if my hose didn't get kinked in the middle. And this, that turned a little. Let's get that that direction much better. Okay, now, I'm gonna put this little cork back in the bottom. I, I'm sorry to bore you with this whole thing, but you know, I do all my videos in real time. So you're getting me really doing this for the first time. And uh, you know, you're getting the real thing. So if I run into a mistake, if I run into a problem, you're gonna see it, the, the real deal. So that's how I like to do my videos. So. I'm more, I'm more of a reality kind of, kind of guy. I like people to see what can really happen, not the best case scenario every time. I like to, if I'm working on a car, you know, sometimes I run into trouble, just like you would run into trouble. And it's kind of nice to see that on a video because the same thing could happen to you. Okay, we tighten that up, not too much. We're gonna put the top on. Let's look at this top, make sure it's clean. Oh, very clean. You know what? Since it's clean anyway, I'm going to give it a shot. I like giving it a little shot. Make sure it's clean. Right here. Yeah. Very clean. Make sure I don't spray the foam. We're good. Now, we just put that on. And I like to put it with the... With the with the gauge so I could read it from the pool area. Okay, that's it. Pop it down. And you know, it's funny. Some people, you bring up this when you think that's down enough, although this will squeeze it the rest of the way. So some people like, I had a regular pool guy who's very knowledgeable tell me you're gonna hate this, this filter. And his reasoning was, what happens is, let's say you have a two horse motor on here, and uh, I gotta get this lined up. So let's say you have a two horse motor on here and your filter gets dirty, and you're not paying attention to it. You, you know, you're used to your dirty tomato surf where you backwash it a little bit. Boy, this is a little tricky to get on there alone. It keeps falling down, there we go. I gotta line that up before I can. It's like you need two people here. <laughs> so he said that what happens is, is when this filter gets dirty, you know, maybe it has such so many micron in the opening, right? So if it, as it gets dirty, wow, this is gonna be tough. I need a little more squeezing in on this. I'm gonna have to thread it in without the thing first, just so I could get a little pull on here, get a little bite. 
There we go. I got a little more bite now. Now I can put the washer on. I couldn't get enough thread into the thing. Now, so he said what would happen is your motor, it's got to go on this way, your motor is going to be forcing the dirt through. Once the filter starts getting clogged, if you ignore it, he said it's going to force the dirt through and it'll actually push it through your filter. Now your cartridges, instead of having, say, a 5 micron opening, now have a 10 micron opening. And he said it gets worse and worse and worse. He said they're a nightmare. But so far, I'm not dissatisfied with it. I mean, it worked. And, and I actually got this for free from my brother. You know, he was changing his whole pool system over. So he only had this for a year, so I took it from him. You know, he was upgrading. Now, you don't kill this thing. You don't kill this all the way. Let's make sure we're still in good. It's going very easy so far. I'm going to turn the filter on, and what you're going to notice is the air coming out of the top. It's got that automatic air valve on this one. I'm just making sure. And like I said, you don't kill it. You don't have to. I'm putting very little pressure. Now, when I'm done, I'm going to start cleaning those things off. And I'll put them in the shed and get them ready for the next change out, which will probably never happen this, this year. Okay, now we're going to start filling it, check for any leaks. And I think what we're going to notice, you're going to see the air coming out of the top, and that's about it. All right. So, do me a favor. Like, subscribe. Those are the old cartridges, and like I said, they were green. You really don't want green stain in your filter. All right, let's see what this looks like now. It shows you the meter is on start. It's, it's building its way up. There it goes, to start. And that's because as it's filling with air, it's actually pushing all the air out of here, you know? So it's filling the filter. And a lot of it's coming out the other end in my green pool. But this will get clear very soon. All right, people. Like, subscribe. I hope that helped you. If it did, definitely like, subscribe. I keep making silly little videos. It could be anything from racing a Viper to working on a car to working on a side-by-side -side to working on your coffee maker. So, take care.